Hello guys, today we are seeing abstraction interview questions. There are total 28 questions. We have divided that into three videos, three chapters. Please go through each chapter very carefully. So let's start the first chapter. What is abstraction? Abstraction means exposing only required details or hiding unnecessary details of any of the entity. That is what the abstraction definition. Coming to the next question, why abstraction is needed? Abstraction is needed if you want to maintain proper hierarchy, if you want your code to be organized, if you want your code to be maintainable, if you want to uh, have a like uh, don't want to expose anything but everybody will be implementing your code. For example, let's say give this example in interview. Let's say there is a class called customer. It has a method called get cost. And if you want to have different implementation for retail customer and different implementation for wholesale customer, I will draw it because this question is very important. So I'll take efforts to draw this for you all. Let's say there is class customer or instead of making class, I will make it as a interface customer. It has a method called get cost. Now there are two classes maybe. One is retail customer. Get cost. Now maybe return 20. You have to explain like this to interviewer. Class wholesale customer. in get cost return 10. So see now get cost is a method which customers are using but there are two types of customer. One is retail and another is wholesale. They have different value, they have different value. Such implementations requires abstraction. Here get cost is a abstraction means Unnecessary detail is not exposed here because in future it has different implementation. Next move on to next question guys. How can we achieve abstraction? We need to achieve abstraction by in two ways. One is interface and another is abstract class. Why do we use interfaces? Yes, interfaces we need to use if you want to have pure abstraction. Pure abstraction means you don't want to expose anything. Then you will be going for interfaces. One more thing you can say if you want to have uh, multiple inheritance implementation then you will go for interfaces if why do we use abstract classes this is the next question if you want to have partial abstraction some methods you want to expose implementation some method you don't want to expose implementation let's say this this is very important let's say there is a class called class car Now there may be Suzuki car, there may be Kia car. Now engine capacity will be different for this, different for this. So you don't need to implement this method. You don't need to implement means here you don't need to write body, but wheels get wheel. Now try to understand, it's a four, how many four wheels are there, four wheels to Suzuki and Kia. So now try to understand, in class car, you are implementing a method called gate wheel, but you are not implementing a method called engine capacity. In such cases, this method will be, this method will be abstract as implementation different this method will be non abstract i hope you understood this question because the question is why do we use abstract classes you need to prove this in interview that you know the concept and concept you need to tell to interviewer in this way you need to tell there is a class car with gate wheel wheels will be always same for maruti suzuki car as well as kia car but engine capacity is different. Might be this is 1200 cc, might be this is 2000 cc. So this class will be abstract. It's very simple. 
नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरफेस एंड एब्सट्रैक्ट क्लास वेरी क्लियर डिफरेंसेस यू नीड टू टेल गाइज एंड डिफरेंसेस शुड बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट मे बी कंस्ट्रक्टर दिस माइट बी फर्स्ट पॉइंट इंटरफेस नो एब्सट्रैक्ट क्लास यस नो इट डजेंट हैव एब्सट्रैक्ट क्लास हैव देन इंप्लीमेंटेशन interfaces may have abstract classes sorry interfaces do not have abstract classes may have may not have remember in this way in interfaces variables and methods in interfaces must be as per the standard means final static public that would be in the interface but in abstract class no standard as that of um interface so like this differences you need to uh, tell to the interviewer multiple inheritance in interfaces yes in abstract class no it's very simple so once again we'll be revising constructor in abstract class yes sorry no and in abstract class yes implementation here no here it can be it can not be variable there is some final public static here no standard means can be anything multiple inheritance this is yes and this is no so remember these differences you can take screenshot of it if you can remember coming to next question what which is better interface or abstract class see there is no Uh, no one can say interfaces are better or abstract class it is as per the requirement basically in industry what people do first they are writing interfaces where there is no implementation then they are writing abstract classes and there they are writing concrete classes means let's say this is vehicle interface then there will be maruti suzuki maybe the class abstract class then in said maruti suzuki there will be chain car or maybe something <coughs> something some other car i am not remembering right now like maruti suzuki what are the cars so chain and then maybe pay something so this is industry standard first is interface then abstract class then maybe abstract class may not be and then concrete class so this is a structure industry is adopting so there is nothing like better or bad you just go to the differences in last question and think about the when interface is needed and when abstract classes are needed can you provide a real time example of abstraction already told like a tv in tv you are only what matters to you is video not what internally happening that is what the real time example of abstraction do you know any built in interfaces in java two interfaces you will be remembering serializable and clonable both are the interfaces in java this is the last question in this video are there any built in abstract classes in java do you know any built in classes in java yes do you know any built in abstract classes in java yes input stream and output stream these both uh, classes are abstract classes which are built in the java which are inbuilt so guys we have seen 10 questions of abstraction in next episode we will be seeing 10 more maybe and i hope you will be preparing all these questions go one by one uh, go each question very thoroughly and you will be getting succeeded thank you